Hello and welcome to a thrift haul. If you watched my video last week, my vlog, I got a few things at Savers and then there is more. There is more. I've got something to show you from an estate sale as well as another thrift store. So let's begin. What I normally do at thrift stores is that I try to be as unencumbered as possible. As soon as I have one or two things, I'll pick up one of their wicker baskets and use that as my gathering basket. When I'm completely done with my little bag of things, I'll put back that basket. I think it's because I can move more easily. This time I did have a basket. I definitely put more in my cart than I normally would in my hand basket. Then at the end I did put some things back because I was just like I kind of want to be more selective about it. The so. first thing you saw that I got was this mobile bar. I did a very simple clean on it. There is some clouding here that I will try to get off. I paid $3.99 minus the 25%. For this that is a very good deal. I've seen these in thrift stores for $12.99 but usually they're not this inexpensive at thrift stores. So let's Let's open it up. I like that it's red inside. I think it makes everything on the inside stand out. We've got some of the pieces, but not all of the pieces. The Portable Pub by London Air. That is the brand. If you purchase one of these and the pieces are missing, what I have found is the metal cups are usually the pieces that are missing. And I've also found that those are the trickiest pieces to replace because they're so specific to each of these mobile bars. It's just a puzzle now. I can find pieces that fit. A spoon, looks like a corkscrew, and maybe a bottle opener that kind of looks like a knife. On this side is where you put the booze. Whiskey, I would put wine. Your drink of choice, you can put that on this side. I have a few of these now. I love finding them because I think they're quintessentially mid-century. I also got this. This is a canister it's on the inside. I'm fond of this grid pattern and we'll use this as storage. If you saw my vlog last week, you saw that there was another larger one, but it was badly dented. I decided to leave it there. I'm not sure how much this was, but it wouldn't have been very much because I decided I didn't want to spend much that. Oh yeah, I also got a Veluspa candle. It was a pumpkin scented candle and it was perfect because it's the beginning of fall. Happy fall, by the way. With scented candles, if it's cheaper than it would be buying it at a store, something like that, I will get it. And it was perfect because it was a pumpkin candle. Yeah, I've been burning that and it's been nice. I also went to Deseret Industries, which is a thrift store that we have in the area. On some occasion, I will take you to the store. When you walk into Deseret, it is a sea of clothing. I was looking for a few things and I got a nice array of those things in addition to some others that, you know, I just saw. The prices are so good at Deseret. I found this very ornate shell covered box. There are a couple reasons why I really like this box. And one is that it's very symmetrical. It is gaudy, but because of that symmetry, I liked it. See that little piece? These little pieces were on each side. One of the shells that they put on just broke all over. I've been pulling those pieces off and I have successfully done that with all but the front side. This piece is stuck on there. It's some sort of glue. I can't get it off and I don't want to damage the other shells. So there we go. And I love this red interior. This was only a dollar. They have a huge craft section as well. Four aisles of craft supplies. What I was interested in finding was ribbon. In particular, I wanted to find velvet ribbon. And then I saw this this baggie of what appeared to be hot pink velvet ribbon. This ribbon is so nice and there is so much of it. I have been into velvet ribbon the past couple of years. For Christmas, I got all sorts of velvet ribbon and wrapped my gifts mostly with this velvet ribbon that I got. I got all sorts of colors, but small. I went a little crazy with my velvet ribbon. It's not the greatest ribbon. I ordered it online. It's not vintage. For sure it's not vintage. I would like to hang a picture or a wreath with this ribbon. Nice stack of ribbon. And this bag of ribbon was only 50 cents. 50 cents! Looking in the craft section, I was also looking for boxes. Very plain boxes that I could cover with paper. I found this. This I also have not cleaned up. There's some little marks on it. This is a Martha Stewart ribbon box. Back in the day, 10 years ago or so, Martha Stewart had really great stuff at Michael's. She started a line with Michael's. The stuff at that time was very Martha. I feel like the stuff that they have now that is her line of products, I, I feel like she has nothing to do with it. It's like a linen covered box. It is for ribbon. I purchased one of these 10 or 15 years ago at Michael's. This is the one that I already have that I bought years ago at Michael's. There's a lot of space in here. 
which I like. So I just like it as a storage box. Some of the spools are not round, so it wouldn't work anyhow. When I saw this one, I recognized it. The color scheme of the collection in Michael's when she first started the line was Robin's egg blue and that brown color. Everyone was using those colors at the time. Why I say that is because there was also a Robin's egg blue one of these at Deseret that I did not get. Each box was $2. Then I continued to look for more boxes. I wanted to use my marble paper to cover boxes. I got this to cover as a nice tray for either some of my office things or jewelry even. And then I also got this file box. Got my little supplies in here, double-sided tape, and then a glue stick. I also use clips, binder clips. I also have this double-sided tape. This was from Martha Stewart's line. I still have this from when I used to line envelopes. This is that Robin's egg blue. I, I could go on and on about how much I loved Martha Stewart's old Michael's line. Don't get me started. But let me know if any of you also know what I'm talking about. I will show you one box that I covered. This was just a plain cardboard box that I got at an estate sale. This is what I plan on doing with these other things here. This is my first attempt at covering a box in marbled paper. I did not make this paper. I still need to make marbled paper. I purchased some marbled paper. Open it up. I tried to do as well as I could. The inside is this textured scrapbooking paper. I'll get better at this and I hope to cover everything in marble paper. I got this at a Goodwill. I think this is blown glass. I don't think this is Murano glass, but when I did a Google image search, it said it was Murano glass. Who knows? They had two others. They had a red and an orange. I just got the yellow. I think I might use it as a vase. Oh, actually, this would be great for scissors because it's so heavy. Maybe that's what I'll use it for, my nicer scissors. And then something I got at an estate sale a while ago, but I forgot about it. I'm just gonna show it to you now. It is this vintage Hawaii bucket hat. I think I'm going to sell this. It is in pristine condition. It's got some of the islands on it. This was in one of those bundles that I got that it was, it was probably pennies. That's how much I paid for it, probably pennies. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing very well, and I will see you again next week. Bye.